let's talk about batching your content. I'm not sure if you've ever heard that term, but batching work just means doing the same thing over and over and over in order to get a bunch of stuff done. And then you might come back to that to do something else to it, which would be another batching. So let me give you an example. Batching videos would mean that I'm going to block off some time on my schedule, maybe two hours or maybe the whole entire day. And I'm going to just record video after video after video. No editing, no nothing besides recording, all right? Nothing besides recording. That's batching your videos. Batching uh, content for like scheduling, that means that you are blocking off time in your schedule to schedule post to your social media. So once you've created the content, now you can batch by sitting down and scheduling all that out for an entire week or an entire month for that matter. So there are several steps that we would like to suggest to you. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just a, just a suggestion to help you learn how to batch and learn how to do it and be so effective and ooh, you're gonna feel so good when you do this because first of all, you're super productive. And then second of all, you create a lot of content and then you feel really good because you've got it scheduled as well. All right, so first step is brainstorming. You're just brain dumping all these ideas that you have out onto a piece of paper, on your tablet, computer, whatever, and open up a new document and just have some fun writing your ideas down. Now, during this brainstorming session, you know what brainstorming is. You're not analyzing, you're not critiquing your ideas or even deciding how you're gonna flesh those out. That's another step. You're just simply writing everything down. So the second step is creating an outline or what I would call fleshing it out. So for example, if you have some ideas that are going to be videos, then you're gonna need an outline because when you go live or when you record a video, you want an outline so that you stay on track, you don't ramble, you get to the point, you serve your people, and then you're done, right? So you create an outline. If, you're, um, if your content is not a video, you may not create an outline, but you might flesh it out some. For example, if you have an idea for how to do something or you wanna share um, a specific product with your audience, then you might flesh out what are the one or two things I'm gonna talk about in this post? Like what are the attributes or what are the benefits of this product? And so kind of flesh that out a little bit. That's another batching session where you're taking your brainstorm list and you're taking one at a time and you're fleshing it out a little bit or creating an outline. And then the third step to this whole batching process that I would suggest, like I said, you can kind of tweak it or you know use this however it will work for you. But that third step is actually creating the content. So you're actually writing the captions, create that video so that you can then later post it. 